Hey everybody, it's Tyler here at Launch Tincture, checking in 1658S Practice Years 2.5. They're your number one seat as we're filming this right after uh, Alliance Selection, so congratulations on that. Your team has had some good success earlier this year, already tournament champions once, and uh, skills winners at Nebraska Signature uh, just a little bit ago as well too, so congrats on that. They have a really cool robot here that I want you to check out. Awesome uh, conveyor system that the Rock here, definitely more unique from some of the other teams that we have seen uh, so far. And this aligner mech uh, for their wings is definitely, I think, the reason why they've been number one seed, able to quickly de-score other teams. It's been really, really cool. So I can't wait to dive more into that. We'll be getting more of a breakdown of this robot. So let's learn more about this team from California coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Yes, and we got to start with one of the stars of this robot. That is your awesome intake system. Can you break down more about like what it is and how did you come up with this? Yeah, so first, uh, we have three stages in our intake. First stage is this flex wheel, uh, flex wheels, and it allows us to pick the balls from the uh, from the field and uh, it allows us to make the balls in our second stage intake. Our second stage intake comes from uh, the ideas of 9123X. We've seen them play in Mall of America, and I think it's really effective because I can intake two balls at a time and I can uh, narrow the space to force the ball become one, uh, one at a time to come to our third stage intake, which is the conveyor belt. Um, for the third stage, once the uh, we have a, a auto system to load it up the whole intake to make it full, and uh, it can stop. And uh, once we want to try to score, it can spin really fast, and uh, it has really uh, great push powers, which allows us to push the balls directly into the middle control zone in autonomous, and also sometimes push the blocks into the opponent's robot. Yeah, and uh, I'm gonna pass my mic to Jasper. Can we can we see a couple blocks come in and just demonstrate how yeah, it works? Yeah, okay. I got you. Miss. Yeah. Yo, oh, yeah. white dog. And then I noticed these uh, zip ties that you have on top of the robot. Is that meant to keep the blocks uh, inside? Yeah. And then when did you add those on? Uh, like since the beginning. Uh, I added this, this size on because the boss would fly off sometimes and uh, I added this, this size just to make sure the boss doesn't fly off this way because if this way, I, we also block this way, it's gonna jam in here. And it's been successful for you so far, I'm assuming? Yeah. Really cool on that. Yeah, let's pass over to Jasper and talk more about uh, your drive train and then uh, how you're scoring into the uh, middle goals as well too. All right, so let's start with the drive train. So in the very early of the season, like we see the like the game rules and then we come up with an idea that's fast. So we build a really fast drive chain. That's a six motor drive, 600 RPM with a 2.5 inch wheels. It's, it's pretty fast though, but after that we, we realized there's a problem. Like we cannot like get on the parking like that easy. Then we change it to the, it's still a six motor drive though, but we change it to four, uh, 450 RPM with um, 2.75 inch wheels and it is not that fast, but it's, it's really powerful. It's really easy to get in the parking. And let's talk about the middle goal score. So we have two ways to score middle. The first way, like right here, there's two pistons gonna like lift up the little pulley right here. So the ball will go either the conveyor right here or the intake to drop into the um, the middle goal. The another way is the another way. All right. Like this. And then another way is like the ball goes through the whole system and then we're gonna our driver gonna drop the ball to the middle goal. Like drop it. Yeah like that. Do you find that one's more effective than the other at all? Yeah, I think cause it's it's make much faster than other robots. So during a match, if you're looking at, at scoring, is it more just like what side of the robot is closer to it or do you prefer to score on one versus the other? Uh, it depends. Uh, for uh, like for in, during the match, if I see the uh, middle goal is really empty and I have no robot defense on me, I can. And also, when I have so many blocks in my robot, I can open this this uh, open it this way, so it can push more bo blocks into the middle to gain control. But if I need to do it really fast, I have I have used this to line up and uh, 
push one more one or two blocks in and I can just directly use this Discord to push the opponent's boss away and so we can gain the control. And yes, and we really got to talk about this uh, alignment and your uh, Discord you have in there. It's been so effective on the field. And I can't wait, of course, to see it in playoffs coming up soon too, but talk to you more about how did you come up with this and some of the composition behind it? Yeah, I, as I already covered for the... Uh, yo. <laughs> for the uh, middle goal Discord, we actually have two ways. The first one is here. Uh, after I use my conveyor belt to push the blocks into the middle, I can use this thing directly to push the push the ball, uh, and it can discourse opponent block and still keeps our own blocks in because uh, it's really like not much space right here, so it doesn't come all the way into the middle goal. And uh, for this one, uh, if I don't have any blocks into the middle goal and I want to try to discord, this one is very long and it can go into very deep into the middle goal, so I can discord even without our own blocks. Or box is close to the side or the end of the uh, middle goal. And uh, for uh, long goal discord is this win. And uh, uh, I didn't add this since after uh, Great Plains. And, uh, uh, this is very, very effective because we made it very uh, durable with two L channels and form a square shape. Uh, and uh, for this liner, it uh, I don't I that didn't line up for the Lungo using this one at the start. I just uh, if I see the drive chain is a little bit to the right of the Lungo, the uh, red, the yellow stand, I can just drive forward and it's gonna be into the Lungo. And for this one, it's actually when I. Uh, Discord from one end to the middle segment of the long goal, I raise this wind up and I just keep driving forward and this one would prevent my robot to sink into underneath the long goal. So once once I get to the other side, I can put them directly down and I can push all the blocks from the other side away. Your team has competed so well uh, over the course of the season so far. What do you think is one of the number one things, especially coming in here to launch, that is attributed to your success? Uh, it's like we... We've come up with a really good idea, uh, the idea of design. I've never seen this type of design in uh, somewhere else. And uh, uh, our our goal is not to change the robot very quickly because uh, I have no time to practice for my driving skills. And uh, uh, and still, we made a lot of improvement on this robot. We are trying to improve the robot, not just start, not just change it to something else. Jasper, let's break down some of the sensors that go into this robot as well too. What are some key ones that are really helping you win matches? All right, so in the match for the driver, so we only have two distance sensors, um, two distance sensors. So one is right here and another one is right here. So for this one, when the blocks going up from the whole system, it's gonna, it's gonna detect the blocks and then it's gonna make the motor move 95 degrees forward. And for the sensor right here, like we don't have more blocks, so I'll just show it right here. So. When this sensor detects the blocks, which means the full, the whole conveyor is full, so it, it won't like let, let it move anymore. So we can store more ball under the conveyor. Yeah, coming up with an indexing like that, I think it's so effective for what your team has been doing uh, for that as well too. Any other sensors you want to highlight? Uh, uh, yes, for our autonomous, because our uh, programmer is busy, so I'm doing the program uh, right now. I'm using blocks, but I'm, my AP is really high right now. Uh, we are using simple odometry, on, on, only using uh, the vertical tracking wheels. Uh, it's under, it's underneath my robot. It's here. Uh, I, uh, I uh, read the uh, degrees in the sensors, and um, which divide by, uh, divide by the, uh, t uh, the degrees that I want, which make it. Uh, slower when it's closer to the target. For example, I have uh, I want it to run 100 degrees, and uh, it's gone when it's completing the 90 percent of the uh, uh, the routes. It's gone decrease 90 percent of the speed. And uh, uh, I use also use two distance sensors, which is here front and here is back. We found out that distance sensor is one of the most reliable sensors on in VAX. So uh, I use this thing to detect the uh, uh, distance from the, my robot to the field perimeter. So, uh, it's, it was ar accurate every single time with uh, because our setup might be slanted a low, uh, every, uh, for every single match, it will be slanted a little bit more. And uh, But if once we catch the distance uh, between uh, the field perimeter to the robot, it's going to be accurate every single time. Practice years 2.5. First off, congratulations on your success so far. As I said, filming this at launch, you are currently the number one seed and going into uh, E-Limbs, I wish you best of luck for that. We can't wait to see what awesome designs you continue to come up with throughout the rest of the pushback season. Thanks a lot, guys, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you so much. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.